Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I hope everyone is having a happy crochet or knitting day. Well, this crochet tutorial is for the Beach House dishcloth. This is just a super simple dishcloth. I'll walk you step by step on how to make it. We're using double crochet and half double crochet V-stitches. But how many times have I heard from new crocheters who said that they really Really hate doing borders around a dishcloth. They have so much trouble working on the row end stitches and across the bottom of the dishcloth. I thought what better way to solve that problem than to make a dishcloth where you're just going round and round and then your last round creates your border. No working in row end stitches, no trying to figure out how to go across the bottom of the foundation chain. So this just may become one of your favorite dishcloth patterns. Again, you can see how we do the double crochet in the center and then we start working those half double crochets. And to end, I'm using one of my favorite borders. I love this double crochet pico border. Just adds a finishing touch. Now this dishcloth measures nine and a half inches across and nine and a half inches from the bottom to the top. It is a square pattern that we're working in the round and this is my first sample and I love using Premier Home Cotton. Now you may have different results depending on which brand of cotton you use. If it's a thinner cotton or if it's a thicker cotton it might be larger. So the Premier Home Cotton it does come in a 96 yard skein 88 meters 1.94 ounces 55 grams and it's a 85% recycled cotton 15% polyester now this is a four medium weight cotton it is machine wash warm tumble dry low heat so this first dishcloth here was made using ocean splash color 44-27 now, I was having so much fun making this dishcloth. I did make four different samples because Premier has so many beautiful colorways available. And I thought this was kind of fall colors that you may enjoy if you want to make some quick and easy fall dishcloths. And this dishcloth was made using color citrus, color 44-10. Now, this is the front, and I did not weave my ends in. This is the back. So sorry about those ends. I was excited to get my samples made. So that's the back. And then this is the front. Pretty fall colors. The next one, I just used solid white. Now when I was doing this one, the white seemed to be a little bit thinner. Now the solid colors come in a larger skein. You get more yardage with the solid colors. You get 131 yards, 102 meters, 2.65 ounces or 75 grams with the solid colors. So again, the white one come out nice, but I thought the white was just a little bit thinner than those brighter colors. I think maybe the dye made the yarn a little thicker and had a little bit better results, but this is the white one. The last one I made was one of the speckled colors from Premier. I just thought the speckled yarn was wonderful. It was a little bit thicker and it had a nicer look to it. So beautiful design. So you can see the difference between the one that had the thicker yarn, even though they're both Premier yarns, and the white one. This one was thinner. It looked a little bit lacier. This one was thicker and it had a tighter look to the stitches. So this one was made with this beautiful fruity speckle and this is color 44-44. So again, this is just a small sample of the beautiful colorways that Premier has to offer. So for today's crochet tutorial, you're going to need one skein of the Premier Home Cotton yarn in the color of your choice. Now this is about how much yarn I had left over from every dishcloth, so not enough to make two. So you're only going to get one dishcloth out of one skein of yarn, and that's about the norm. So today I'm using the color Ocean Splash, color 44-27. So one skein of the color of your choice for each dishcloth you want to make. You're also going to need a size H8 or 5 millimeter hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get our dishcloth started. 
to begin our project, I already have my yarn attached to my hook and you can use whichever method you prefer to attach your yarn to your hook. Now I want to remind everyone, all my crochet tutorials are filmed using USA crochet terms. We're going to begin and we're going to chain four. Yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook and that creates your first chain. That's one, two, three, and four. Now we're ready to begin round one. In round one, we're going to work all of our stitches into that first chain or the fourth chain from hook. To begin round one, you're going to yarn over, you're going to skip the first three chains, and into the last chain or fourth chain from hook, you're going to work a double crochet. Insert into that last chain or fourth chain from hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through that chain, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet. We're going to work one more double crochet back into that same chain. And then we're going to chain two, which forms our corner. One, two. Now we're going to work three double crochet back into that same chain and chain two three more times. So let's begin. Double crochet back into that same chain. Remember all of our stitches are being made in that same chain and we're making a total of three double crochet. That's one. Double crochet back into that same chain. That's two, double crochet back into that chain, and that's three. Then you're going to chain two. And as you're working your stitches, this chain does open up and you can get all those stitches in there. So now we're going to continue and we need to work three double crochet and chain two, two more times into that same chain. Yarn over, insert into that same chain, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two. And then you just keep spinning your work as you're working and you can see how it's making our square. Now we're going to work three more double crochet back into that same chain. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two and then we're ready to join. You're going to come up to the top of that beginning chain three. Now your first chain is down here. That's one, two, three. Insert into that top chain and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. And when you look at your work, you're going to see you have your beginning chain three, which counts as the first double crochet, and then two double crochet. You chain two for the corner, and then you work three double crochet, chain two, three times. One, two, three, which forms our square. You end with the chain two, and you join in the top of that beginning chain three. So round one is finished. Now we're ready to begin round two. For round two, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch and we're going under both of those top two loops. Yarn over, take your hook and insert under both of those top two loops and then work your double crochet. And we're going to continue working under both of the top two loops of each stitch, unless I tell you otherwise. Double crochet into the next stitch. 
Now we're going to make our corner. We're going to work two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet into the corner chain two space. Yarn over, insert into the corner chain two space, work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain two to form that corner and then work two more double crochet back into that corner chain two space. One, and two. And now we're just going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then we're going to work our corner of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the corner, and we're going to repeat that around. So let's begin double crochet into the next stitch, again going under both of those top two loops, double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and now we're going to work our corner. Work two double crochet into the chain two space, one, and two. You're going to chain two, and then work two more double crochet back into that same corner chain two space. One, and two. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into your corner chain two space, and you're going to repeat that around. I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. We worked one double crochet in each of the double crochet stitches around, and we worked two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet in each corner chain two space. So now I'm back over to the beginning of the round, and we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert into the top chain, slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. Now we're ready to begin round three. For round three, we're going to chain three, and then we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to the corner chain two space. Double crochet into the next stitch, again going under both of those top two loops, work your double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're at our corner chain two space. We're going to work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain two, and then you're going to work two more double crochet back into that corner chain two space. One, and two. Your corner is made. So now we're going to start on the second side. We're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to the corner chain two space. Double crochet into the next stitch, and double crochet in each stitch across. So I'm just going to go ahead and work a double crochet in each stitch. and we're almost over to the corner. So when you get to your corner chain two space, you're going to work two double crochet, one, 
and two. You're going to chain two, and then you're going to work two more double crochet into that same corner chain two space. One, and two, and your corner is made. So now go ahead and continue. You're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to your corner chain two space. When you get to the corner chain two space, work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Repeat that around the remaining two sides and I'll meet you after you work your last corner and we'll finish the round. I'm over at my last corner and we just work the two double crochet chain two, two double crochet into the last corner chain two space. And if you look at your work, you're going to have two stitches remaining. You're going to work one double crochet in each of those two remaining stitches. Then we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Now when you join your work together, it creates what I call a joining bar. It's a horizontal strand of yarn going sideways. This is not a stitch, this is your joining bar. So you're going to count up one, two, three, insert into the top chain, and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So row three is finished. Now we're ready to begin round four. And round four, we're going to begin making half double crochet V stitches. So let's begin round four. For round four, we're going to skip our joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the next stitch. Insert under the top two loops and then yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. You want to start into this stitch. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Now the beginning chain three counts as the first half double crochet plus a chain one. Now we're going to work a half double crochet into that very same stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to begin our repeat. You're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to chain one and then half double crochet back into that same stitch. So let's do the repeat again. Skip the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, chain one. Then we're going to half double crochet back into that same stitch. We have one stitch remaining. We're going to skip this next stitch and now we're going to work a half double crochet V stitch, a chain two and a half double crochet V stitch all into this corner chain two space. Let's begin. Yarn over, insert into the corner chain two space, work a half double crochet. You're going to chain one and then half double crochet back into that corner chain two space. Then you're going to chain two and this actually forms the corner and then we're going to work a half double crochet back into that same corner chain two space. Then chain one and then half double crochet back into that same corner chain two space. So when you look at your work, again, you're going to have a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet V stitch, then you chain two to form the corner, and then half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet V stitch, all into your corner chain two space. Now we're going to begin the repeat. You're going to skip the next stitch, work a half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch, and we're going to do that a total of five times across this side of your work. So let's begin. 
Now remember, your corner stitches may cover up that first stitch, so make sure that you're skipping the first stitch. Work your V-stitch into the next stitch. Half double crochet. Chain one, and then half double crochet into that same stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch chain one and then half double crochet into that same stitch skip the next stitch and work your half double crochet v stitch into the next stitch chain one and then half double crochet back into that same stitch skip the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch chain one and then half double crochet back into that same stitch we have one repeat to go you're going to skip the next stitch and half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch work your half double crochet chain one and then half double crochet back into that same stitch. So when you look at your work, you should have your corner, and then you skipped a stitch and a V stitch five times. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to have one stitch remaining. We're going to skip this next stitch, and then you're going to start your repeat by starting in the corner. So let's do one more side together. We are going to skip this last stitch of this side and we're starting in the corner. You're going to work a half double crochet V stitch of a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. All into that same corner chain two space. Then you're going to chain two and then work one more half double crochet V stitch into that corner chain two space half double crochet chain one and then half double crochet back into that same corner chain two space your V stitch is made so when you look at your corner again you're going to have a half double crochet V stitch a chain two and a half double crochet V stitch forming your corner. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and work a V stitch in the next stitch and we're going to do that a total of five times. Skip that first stitch, work your half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch. That's one of five. Skip the next stitch, work your half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch. That's two of five. Skip the next stitch, work your half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch. That's three of five. Skip the next stitch, work a half double crochet V stitch into that next stitch. That's four of five. Skip the next stitch and work a half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch. And that is five of five. So when you look at your work, again, you're going to have your corner V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch, and then you skipped a stitch, worked a V-stitch five times. One, two, three, four, and five. You should have one stitch remaining. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch into your next corner, chain two space. Then you're going to skip the next stitch, work a V-stitch into the next stitch, a total of five times across. You're going to have one stitch remaining, and then you're going to work your corner again of a V-stitch, chain two V-stitch. 
work that around until you work your last corner and then I'll meet you and show you how to finish the round. I'm over at my last corner of round four. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. This is what your work should look like. So after you get your last corner made, you're going to have a total of four stitches and your beginning chain here from the previous row left. So let's go ahead and finish the round. We're going to skip the next stitch, work a half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch. Skip the next stitch and work a half double crochet V stitch into the next stitch. You should have one stitch remaining. And now we're going to join. You're going to go up to the second chain of the beginning chain three. Count up one, two, insert into the second chain, and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round four is finished. Now we're ready to begin round five. To begin round five, we're going to skip our joining stitch and you're going to slip stitch into that chain one space right in the center of that first V stitch. Make a slip stitch. So for this round, we're working in the chain one spaces of each V stitch around. So let's begin. We're going to begin with the chain three. One, two, three. This beginning chain three counts as the first half double crochet plus a chain one. You're going to half double crochet back into that same chain one space. Now we're going to work a half double crochet V stitch of a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into the chain one space of each V stitch across to our corner chain two space. Yarn over, go to your next V stitch, insert under the chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet back into that same space. Let's do it again. Go to your next V stitch, yarn over, insert under the chain one space, work your half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet into that same space. We have one more V stitch on this side. You're going to yarn over, go to the V stitch, insert under the chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet back into that same space. So now I'm over at my corner chain two space and this corner we're just working a half double crochet into the chain two space. You're going to chain two and then work one half double crochet into that corner chain two space. So this corner is worked a little bit differently. We're not doing the double V stitches. We're only working one half double crochet, but you're chaining two and then half double crochet into the corner chain two space. Then when you look at your work, we're going to work one V stitch in the chain one space of each V stitch across. So let's begin. So again, each V stitch is a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Go to your first V stitch, yarn over, insert under the chain one space, work your V stitch. Half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet in the center of that V stitch. And then we're going to continue across. Go to your next V stitch, work a half double crochet, a chain one and half double crochet in the center of that V stitch. Go to your next V stitch, work a V stitch of a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet in the center of that V stitch. Go to your next V stitch, work a half double crochet, chain one 
and half double crochet back into that same chain one space. Go to your next V-stitch, half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet into that chain one space. We have two to go. Go to your next V-stitch, yarn over, insert into the chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. Go to your next V-stitch, yarn over, insert under the chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet into that same space. Now we're over at our corner chain two space. So now what you want to do is continue around working a half double crochet, a chain two and one half double crochet into that next corner chain two space and then you're working a half double crochet chain one half double crochet v-stitch in the center of each v-stitch across to the next corner if you need additional help just click back on the video of where i'm doing my corner and then work across you're going to continue around until you work your very last corner i'll meet you there and i'll show you how to finish the round I'm over at my last corner. We're working round five of our dishcloth and I ended with a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet into that last corner chain two space. This is what your work should look like. And now we're going to go ahead and finish round five. We're going to work a half double crochet V-stitch into the chain one space of the next V-stitch. I'm working a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into that chain one space. Go to your next V-stitch, yarn over, insert under the chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet into that same space. We have one V-stitch to go, yarn over, insert under the chain one space, work your half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet into that same space. Then you'll see we're back over to our beginning chain three. So to end the round, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the second chain of the beginning chain three. Count up one, two, insert your hook into the second chain, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Round five is finished. Now we're ready to begin round six. To begin round six, what we're gonna do for this round is we're going to continue and work a V-stitch in the center of each V-stitch around, but in the corners, we're going to work a V-stitch, chain two V-stitch in the corner chain two space. So let's begin. We're going to skip this joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the chain one space of the first V-stitch. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. The beginning chain three counts as the first half double crochet plus a chain one. You're going to half double crochet back into that same space. So now we're going to work a half double crochet V-stitch in the chain one space of each V-stitch across to your corner chain two space. Go to your next V-stitch, work a half double crochet into the chain one space, chain one, and then half double crochet back into that chain one space. Go to your next V-stitch, work a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into the chain one space. Go to your next V-stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert under the chain one space, and work your half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet back into that same space. So when you get over to the end of this side, you worked in your last V-stitch, but you're going to have two stitches before the corner chain two space. You're skipping these two stitches and you're going right into the corner chain two space because we're only working in the center of the V-stitches. So yarn over, insert into the corner chain two space, work a half double crochet, 
chain one and half double crochet making a V stitch. Then you're going to chain two, work a half double crochet back into that same corner chain two space, chain one, and then half double crochet back into that same corner chain two space. And again, when you look at your work, you have your half double crochet V stitch, a chain two, and a half double crochet V stitch all into your corner chain two space. Then we're going to work a half double crochet V stitch in the chain one space of each V stitch across to your next corner chain two space. Go to your next V stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert under the chain one space, work your half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. So now I'm just going to work a V stitch in the chain one space of each V stitch across. Now when you're working this pattern, make sure you're going in the center of the V-stitch in the chain one space and not between the V-stitches. Pay attention to where that V-stitch actually goes down together in your chain one space. Very easy to mess up if you're watching TV, so just watch and make sure you're going in the correct space. V-stitch into the next V-stitch. We have two more V stitches to go. And again, we're working a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into the chain one space of each V stitch across to the corner. When you work in your last V stitch, you're going to have two stitches remaining. Then you're going to have your corner chain two space. So to continue around, you're just going to start where we done our corner and work a V stitch, chain two, V stitch in the next corner chain two space. Then you're going to work a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet V stitch in the chain one space of each V stitch across to the next corner. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the last corner. I just worked my last corner of round six and now you have three V stitches remaining. So now we're just going to finish by working a V stitch into the chain one space of those last V stitches across. Go to your first V stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert under the chain one space, work your half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet into that space. Go to your next V stitch, Yarn over, insert under the chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet. So we have one V-stitch remaining. Yarn over, insert into the chain one space, work your half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch into the second chain of that beginning chain three. Count from the bottom, count one, two, insert into the second chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. And then I'm just going to flatten this out because sometimes when I crochet I like to bunch it up as I'm crocheting. So then just flatten it out and you can see how pretty our dishcloth is becoming. So now to continue for round seven, you're just going to click back on the video and you're going to repeat round six. You're going to work a V stitch in each V stitch around and in the corner, you're going to work a V stitch, chain two and a V stitch in the corner chain two space. So just click back on the video, start at the beginning of round six and repeat round six one more time for round seven and I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. We just repeated round six again 
and then I'm back over to my beginning chain three. So we're going to join with a slip stitch into the second chain of the beginning chain three, count up one, two, insert your hook, and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So let me zoom out a little bit more. This is what your dishcloth should look like so far. Now we have one more round to go and then your dishcloth will be finished. So now we're ready to begin round eight. For round eight, we're skipping that joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch into that chain one space. Yarn over, pull through that chain one space and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin with a chain three. One, two, and three. Your beginning chain three counts as a double crochet. We're going to double crochet back into that same chain one space. And then we're going to make a pico stitch. A pico stitch is very easy to do. You're going to chain three. You're going to bring your hook back to the front of your work and you're going to go to the last stitch made, insert your hook from top to bottom through that top front loop, and then just take your hook out through the side of the stitch going on a strand of yarn directly below the front loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made. Now we're ready to do our repeat. You're going to go to your next V-stitch and work two double crochet into the chain one space. One. And two. Then you're going to work your pico stitch, chain three. Bring your hook around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the front loop of that last stitch made, and then right through the strand of yarn directly below the front loop. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made. So let's do it again. Go to your next V-stitch, yarn over, insert under the chain one space, work two double crochets. One, and two. Then you're going to make your pico stitch, chain three. Bring your hook back to the front of your work, insert into the top front loop of the last stitch made, and then right into the strand of yarn directly below on the side, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made. So let me do it a couple more times with you. You're going to go to your next V-stitch, Yarn over, insert into the chain one space, work two double crochets. One. And two. Chain three to make your pico stitch. Bring your hook around to the front, insert into the top front loop going from top to bottom and then right in the strand below. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So we have two V-stitches remaining, so I'm just going to go ahead and work in those two V-stitches with you. Yarn over, insert into the chain one space of the next V-stitch, work two double crochets. One, and two. Now we're going to make our pico stitch, chain three. Bring your hook to the front of your work, insert your hook from top to bottom down through the top front loop and right in the strand of yarn directly below on the side of the stitch, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go to your next V-stitch, insert into the chain one space, work two double crochets. One. And two. Chain three to make your pico stitch. Bring your hook around to the front of your work, insert your hook from top to bottom through the front loop only, and right into the strand of yarn directly below on the side, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made, and you can see how it's forming that border. So when you get to your corner chain two space, we're going to work the two double crochet and a pico stitch three times in the corner chain two space. So let's begin. Yarn over, insert into the corner chain two space, work two double crochets. One, and two. 
chain three for your pico stitch. Bring your hook to the front of your work, insert into the top front loop going from top to bottom and right into the strand of yarn directly below, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. We need to do that two more times all into this same chain two space. Yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, work two double crochets. One and two. Chain three for your pico stitch. Bring your hook back to the top front loop. You're going to insert from top to bottom through the front loop only and that last stitch worked and right in the strand of yarn directly below, yarn over and pull through all three strands on your hook. Now we're going to do that one more time in the corner chain two space. Yarn over, insert into the corner chain two space, work two double crochets, one and two. Chain three for your pico stitch. Bring your hook to the front of your work, insert into the top front loop of the last stitch made, and right in the strand of yarn directly below, you have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your corner is made. So now to continue working around your dishcloth, you're going to work two double crochet and a pico stitch in the chain one space of each V stitch across to the corner. When you get to the corner, you're going to work two double crochet and a pico stitch three times in your corner chain two space. So go ahead and continue working that around. When you work your last corner, just continue working two double crochet pico stitch in the chain one space of each remaining V stitch across to that first stitch. I'll meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight. I worked two double crochet and a pico stitch in the chain one space of each V stitch around. And then you work two double crochet and a pico stitch three times in each corner chain two space. So now we're ready to finish the round and join. To join, you're going to come over to your beginning chain three, count up one, two, three, insert into the top chain of that beginning chain three and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So I'm gonna fasten off my work. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So now you just wanna take your yarn needle, flip this over on the wrong side, and then weave your end down through this stitch and then across, down through some more, and even split a stitch on the wrong side to help secure that yarn. Bring it back through a second time, and if your yarn is long enough, I like to weave it in even a third time because you're going to be using this hard, doing dishes. You want those ends to be secure. So our dishcloth is finished. This is what the final dishcloth looks like. If you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.